Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Jackie and Meg Renier, and today we are going to be diving into filler words, finally. I guess it has been quite a little while since the last time I did actually talk about like any kind of editing or writing tips and tricks and such. I'm probably going to end up writing a good number of, making a good number of videos, because there's also filler phrases that we should avoid in our writing, and if my bangs were would cooperate for once. If you guys like that kind of content, hit the like and subscribe button and ring the little bell to be notified of when I upload. I'm going to do my best to upload it every single Tuesday and every other Thursday as well. I am also doing at least one weekly vlog as well to update you guys on how I am doing on the second book, self-editing process as well on the first book. And I am going to go through some of the most common filler words. Of course, they're all basically common because they are filler words. And these are words that you should avoid in your writing. Now, the reason why filler words are what you should avoid in your writing because one, it's just not needed in this sentence. It's not needed in most sentences, actually. So when I say most sentences, you gotta pick and choose where the filler word is actually needed. Because like if it is needed, if the, the filler word is needed in the sentence, it's not a filler word. It is gonna make sense in the sentence. Does that make sense? If I say that ten times fast, just that word is gonna be needed in certain sentences, but not all of them. What you're gonna have to do is like you're gonna go through get the document, look for the word just. But of course, there's a shortcut as well. When I get into like even more tips and tricks on editing, I'll actually show you guys how to do the pains on the word and possibly even on Google Docs because I'm learning how to edit and stuff like that and format on Google Docs as well. We go to the search pane and on um, the editor's pane on top of the word in Word, and you're gonna look up the word just, right? Well, the just will show up on your document, all of them, including the ones in included in other sentences like adjustment and justify and other words like that. So you really got to look it up. Like, so what you can't do, what I suggest you not do is like you go to delete them all. Cause what if like adjustment turns into admin, right? So you got to go through the document and go through the words one by one. All right, just like a little tidbit of advice for you. Don't go deleting all the filler words, all of them. Don't do that. That's why you gotta go through the sentences one at a time. Don't do what? I cringe whenever I think of this. This is actually a horror story from a self-published author. Don't do what this author did. It wasn't me, it was her, all right? I'm not gonna tell you who because you're probably already subscribed to her anyway. She went, and she recorded this too, by the way. She went and did the search bar, right? She looked through the, for the word uh, sever, or another word or similar to that. Uh, she unintentionally replaced all of them with an entirely different word. And what the poor lady, oh my goodness, the poor lady had to go through her, her entire document again to find all of the places where she actually needed the word because that word was also part of other words as well, like a compound word, right? She had to go through it. It was such a horror story. I cringe every time I think about it. And whenever I do take out these filler words, I always do it very carefully. So whenever you do take out the filler words, you have to be very careful about it. Like, don't go into it willy-nilly and, like, replace or delete all. Don't do that. Whatever you do, don't. Don't. Put the mouse. Don't! Another filler word that you want to get rid of is that. Yes. That one. That. So you're going to go through the document again, and you're going to look through all the instances where that is in the sentence, right? You're going to debate on, like, if the word is even needed in that sentence. Like, see, like that one there? That? 
word, the word that, was actually needed in the sentence. So that's why you have to go through the sentence that the word is in, the filler word is in. Like this is actually a lot more complicating to describe than I originally thought. Oh my god. Well, I got some things to say about the word well. Now, unless you're talking about the actual physical water well, it's not needed. Sorry, that's the blinds. I hate them. Now, you're not going to need the word well. I do have a small little tidbit advice for you, though, especially when it comes to the dialogue. With the dialogue, a lot of the filler words can uh, stay. You just got to reword the dialogue as well to make it also a little bit shorter, too, because life is great. And we do actually use a lot of the filler words in real life as we talk to other people and such. Like, especially when I'm talking to my best friend. We have so many filler words in our dialogue that whenever the filler words do come up, I just cringe and it's just like, okay. <laughs> Any word that ends with L-Y, like slightly, absolutely, accordingly, actually, possibly, or probably, seriously, basically, the sentence and the books probably don't need it. Now, when I did actually go through the document of the very first draft while I was editing it last month, I took out quite a bit of these words and it went from like over 130,000 words to 125,000 words. And that was just with the filler words and the filler phrases, guys. And I'm not even done, because I still have to go through the dialogue and the dialogue text. So you might think that like your document is probably gonna end up being 150,000 words, but if you take out the filler words, your document is probably gonna go from 150,000 words to like 125,000 words. Take it from me, when um, my very finished draft, it was 150,000 words. You might think your document is long, but take out the filler words and the 10 to 15% of your document is guaranteed to be just filler words. So other words to look out for is, okay, so something, right, very, Really, simply, most, somehow, like a bunch of li like little words like that. And like, think about this too, like this is just this first page and I have like all these guys to go through with you guys. And this video is already pretty long, so I'll go through a few more and then we're gonna end it. Other words to avoid are words like all, together. You can use together but you use it sparingly because you can use group and all instead of together as well. But like I said, like you have to go through the document, you have to go through the sentence structures to make sure that the word can either stay or just be replaced altogether because your sentence structures and your sentences itself is just going to sound a heck of a lot stronger. Some other words to avoid, or filler words as well, is aspect, brilliance, appearance. You can use appearance, but that one you have to use in the proper manner. This one you have to like really be careful with the sentence structure as well, because like if you're like, oh yeah, her appearance was odd or something like that in the dialogue, it could be good. It comes to like the inner monologue and the narrative aspect, take it out. It's not going to be very useful because you're obviously describing the appearance anyways. So there's no need for the word as well. It's kind of like show don't tell, which we are going to be going through another time. Other words to avoid is careful, carelessness, closed, comparison. Comparison can be used in the dialogue again, but in the narrative you can show don't tell again, compare one thing to another. Her mouth is so dry, like the Sahara Desert. Comparing to the Sahara Desert, her mouth is dry. As you guys could tell, the first sentence is much more straight to the point, 
and it's just overall a lot better and a lot cleaner. Your characters are stammering like, oh, uh, 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 those five eyes, take them out. Because you could be like, oh, I, I was here. And the tag can be, they said, stammering or something like that. Just like a little tip for you too. Because when they're stuttering, those are filler words. So, um, hmm. Uh, those are filler words, and even in the dialogue, those are just not needed at all. So if they're in the dialogue, if they're in the narrative, just take them out. They're useless. And that is all I've got for you guys today. Next time I upload a video about anything filler, we are going to be going through the filler phrases, and yes. Filler phrases are a thing. If you guys like this kind of content, hit the like and subscribe button. Ring the little bell to be notified of when I upload. I upload every single Tuesday and every other Thursday. You guys read and write, read and write, become the best authors you guys can be, and that is my advice for the day. My bangs are just driving me absolutely nuts, man. I should never have cut them. Remember I went back when I used to have my hair like this? I have to go and cut my bangs.